Good evening and welcome to the November 28, 2017 License Board hearing. Um, pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made whether perceived or unperceived by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Uh, we have a four member board here tonight. Our chairman is out uh, for this evening. Um, item number one on the agenda. The hearing regarding the request of Field of Beat Foundation for a special use permit for the Claire Joni Brennan Foundation 5K to be held on September 8th, 2018 at 8 a.m. Represented by Ms. Claire Brennan. Why don't you tell us what's going on. How many years is this? Um, this is year four. Yes, four. Yeah. You're early. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, in order to get it into the calendar of events for the for the uh, runs. runs, they have to do it early by January first or yes. so. Exactly. Yeah. We're happy to so I appreciate you taking sure. this early. So we started the foundation to raise money for children um, in families that with their children affected by heart disease. Um, my little sister passed away from heart disease. Uh, four years ago, so we want to, you know, keep the momentum alive and <coughs> have a kind of fun race and then field day uh, with families and then, you know, have fun and raise money to help others. So. Great. Yeah. Any rain dates or events? No, rain or shine. Yeah, will there be food? Uh, there will be, but not for sale. Just uh, right. people. Right, yeah. Grills? They'll grill. They'll be grills. Yes. Use a map there as well. The route. I think we all have that. Anybody in the audience have any comments? Board members? Any comments? You know, just to get a hold of us when you need the police oh, escorts you. and stuff, we'll take care of it. I really appreciate it. You've done it in the past, and yeah. it's been a big help. Thank Good. you very no much. Good. No problem. Okay, board members, I'll take a motion. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the Field of Beat Foundation for a special use permit for the Claire Joni Brennan Foundation 5K to be held on September 8th, 2018 at 8 a.m. <coughs> represented by Ms. Claire Brennan. Second. Motion made and, on the motion made and granted and seconded to grant the request of Field of Beat Foundation for a special use permit for the Claire Joni Brennan Foundation 5K to be held on September 8th, 2018 at 8 a.m. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's good seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Item number two, uh, discover Quincy. Holiday pop-up show opening date, December 6th at 1534 Hancock Street, 4 to 7 p.m. With a reception, uh, they're looking for a beer and wine uh, license, one-day license. One-day license. Where is it? Oh, is it's it down at the, the old, South Shore? Uh, Shoe. Oh, Shoe. Pay Less Shoe. Oh, Pay Less Shoe. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> pay Less Shoe downtown. Right, uh, yeah, right down Hancock Street. Okay, yeah. 1534, I think. Would you tell us a little bit about it? Um, so, I believe, I don't know if they've actually confirmed, but they are supposed to be having a ribbon cutting with the mayor. Um, Margaret was away this weekend, so I couldn't confirm with her if that was actually confirmed. But um, basically, it's our first night. It's going on for 12 nights. Um, this will be the fourth year they've done it. Last year, they brought in $18,000 in sales in 12 days. Um, basically, it's all local artists bring their artwork in and they sell it. Um, open from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. daily, but 12 days straight from the 6th. Um, and, so there's beer and wine? Yeah, just, no, no, just for the opening, sorry. Just for the students, grand opening? But, yeah, so I'm here probably as a board member and then from Craig's Cafe if there's any questions for that. Um, so we'll be, <coughs> we've done this before with the, the pop-up art gallery that was at the Windsor, Wesner Hall this summer. Um, so we're just going to sell some beer and wine and some light snacks and appetizers as like an opening ceremony reception. And that's on uh, December That's 6th. on December 6th from 4 to 7. 
pop up show grant. Anybody in the audience have any comments? Okay. Um, yeah, Thomas Accord. Yep. How many years? <coughs> uh, this will be the fourth year. Um, yeah. and you can be on the sidewalk or? No, it's all inside. Oh, it's all inside? Yeah, it's inside. So they've, the paler shoes is gone. Right. So they, they've given us the, um, the space inside. Inside the store? Inside the store, yep. So and inside. there'll be so many vendors inside? <coughs> yeah, I think they're hoping for 60 vendors. They can all fit inside the store? Yes, yeah, because they're each getting a small table. Um, we had it right here too. Uh, yeah, we had it right over in um, the Bank of America building. Um, I just can worry. I, 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 the payless is closed now. Do you know if the sprinklers are on the fire alarm system? Does anything work? Um, I believe so. Okay. Um, I know that they've been working with the, the person who owns the building. They just checked out the HVAC system for us. So I believe everything's, the electricity's on. Yep. Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll call and notice for that to be shut down. Oh, okay, fine. Good. Right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, sounds good. Um, board members, any? I'll take a motion. Oh, is this um, the motion just for the one night for the beer and wine? I think so. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what I was told yeah. to come for. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, make a motion to grant the request of uh, <coughs> uh, Discover Quincy Holiday Pop Up Shop. At uh, 1534 Hancock Street on December 6th uh, for a beer and wine uh, for from 4 to 7 p.m. Uh, represented by uh, Thomas Anico. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, second. Motion well, made and seconded to grant the request to discover Quincy Holiday pop up grand opening <coughs> on December 6th at 1534 Hancock Street from 4 to 7 p.m., a one-day beer and wine license, represented by Thomas Anacone. Thank you. Good luck. All in favor. All in favor? Aye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good luck with that. Thank you. You're like, how do they have one the Item number three, hearing regarding the request of Mario Estacio for a garage repair license for Iron Forge LLC DBA Meineke Car Care 662 Southern Artery. Proposed hours of operation, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Proposed manager is Christopher Chetwin. Are yes. you Christopher? No, I'm Mario Estacio. Well, uh, I'm sorry, your name? My name is Mario Estacio. Um, yeah, so I'm the, uh, I'm the new owner of the Mighty E that was closed a couple of months ago. Yep. Um, so I acquired the franchise license for Mighty E uh, and uh, am planning to reopen it uh, sometime in December. So uh, with respect to my background, um, I uh, currently own a Mighty shop in Peabody. Um, so Mighty E had reached out to me when this store was closed to um, to see if I was interested in taking it over, uh, as I had shown an interest in, in acquiring more shops. Uh, and uh, on doing my due diligence, it looked like a good opportunity. Um, so it's not an actual purchase of a business, because the previous owner was closed. Uh, so there was no business to, to purchase. Uh, so what I ended up doing was buying the franchise license, and I'm reopening the store. Okay. What um, do, you, do you have any plans for landscaping and cleaning? That place has really been in tough condition for a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of a little bit run down. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that, that my it, this isn't an immediate plan. Uh, it's it's you know, more of a medium term plan. But uh, my plan is to kind of refurbish it. Uh, Meineke has a, 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 an updated storefront and interior that they are trying to roll out. Uh, and so there's certain funds that uh, get made available to franchisees uh, out of our franchise fees as long as we put it towards the upkeep of the, 
you know, off the, uh, the facade and everything else. So, yes, so, so, so um, not, probably wouldn't be immediate, but uh, certainly sometime uh, next year I'd be looking at doing that. Anything in the immediate future, uh, in the immediate that you might be doing with the site? Uh, the only thing is really, um, I, I ended up acquiring the existing, um, existing equipment. Uh, so uh, there's only one piece of equipment that I'm purchasing, which is an alignment rack, uh, which basically gets screwed onto the, to the floor, uh, and uh, an alignment machine. So those are really the only things that, that are, that are, that are going to be doing in the immediate future. Well, I'm not just talking, I haven't been by there recently. Mm -hmm. just, it, it was in tough condition, landscaping. Uh, they were using it as a dump, as a dump site. Oh, really? There was okay. a dump site. Okay. Yeah. There was a couch there. There was a whole bunch of debris okay. in the I'll parking bring, lot. I'll bring that up with, uh, with the landlord. I certainly wasn't aware of that. I didn't see anything when I was there. Okay, so you're not buying the building. You're only buying the... Yeah, I'm not purchasing the building. So the building continues to be owned by David Donahue. Uh, who I believe has owned it from birth, um, so uh, I'm I'm leasing the, the property from him. Well, then I, I think that would put you in the owner's position, right? Where I would, I'm asking what you're going to do about the condition of the site right off the bat. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, in, in terms of that, uh, I mean, in, certainly anything being used as a dumping ground, we're not going to do that. Yeah, I mean, all so. Right, so I guess I'm just looking. It's it's on a major artery, and uh, yeah. you know, get quirk up the street, and yeah. so you know, do you have any intentions to do any landscaping or making the building more presentable than what it is? Yes, just, uh, yeah. but nothing in the short term. Nothing in the immediate. You know, the, the first. Uh, I mean, the, the the immediate thing is to kind of restart, get customers to come back. Uh, the store has been closed for two months, uh, so hopefully we haven't lost too many. Uh, so my plan is to to send mailers out on. Uh, uh, just after New Year, uh, to uh, to try to inform people that we're open again. But um, progressively, one of, one of the things I was looking at immediately doing was there's certain um, pieces of equipment that are quite old, uh, so we're looking at replacing those. So probably in the immediate, say, first quarter next year would be mainly uh, interior changes. Uh, with respect to the exterior, uh, I've, I've talked to the landlord. Uh, I guess he wants to be to be uh, notified of any change. Um, I've looked at changing the signage. Uh, the signage looks quite old. So, um, but other than that. What, uh, what is that? 12, December 12th. Uh, so, so is that your presentation? Uh, yeah, I, mean, just, I just wanted to know if there was anything else you guys needed to know. Anybody in the audience have any comments? Scott? <laughs> uh, just speaking for myself, uh, it sounds like there's nothing going to be done anytime in the near future. Uh, I'm not really interested in the equipment or what's going on in the store. Um, I think what I'm trying to say is that the, the building needs there's some there needs to be some cleanup and uh, okay. something done on the exterior. I haven't been by there in a week, so I'm going to I was going to ask um, my fellow mm -hmm. board members if they would. We postpone it for the next meeting until you have a chance to go by, and maybe you have a chance to come up with a plan. Okay. And when when uh, when would be the next meeting be? Just December the twelfth. December twelfth. Okay. I would get together with the owner. It sounds like what I'm hearing is that maybe you don't have control or you don't have the money to do any improvements. Yeah, it's not an issue of the money. Uh, I guess it's more of the control. Uh, I I wasn't made aware of any. I appreciate that. Yeah, certainly anything to do with uh, being used as a dumping ground or, you know, I mean, when I, when I looked at the, you know, I've, I've been to the place now uh, four times. Yep. Um, and uh, I certainly didn't see anything that looked significant, like out of the ordinary. Was there um, no overgrowth or anything like that? Pardon me? Overgrowth? No, Maintenance, no, 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 not, not uh, well, from the, uh, from what I could see, this is the, the, the building at 662 Southern Arcade, yep. right? Yep. Um, I mean, the only thing that I noticed was there were a couple of boats parked in the back um, that uh, I believe are part of the marina that uh, the landlord, I guess, also owns. I, uh, I think we I really need to straighten out what's going to happen between you and the landlord. Who's going to really be in control? 
It's okay. not only the shot turn, but you know, upkeeping that and keeping the landscaping and making it, uh, okay. you yeah. know, presentable. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's the kind of answer that I was hoping to hear from you. Okay. But it sounds like you don't have that control. Well, the I actually brought it up with the landlord, and he just mentioned that he wanted to be appraised of any change that we were going to make. So I certainly didn't see anything when I was visiting that indicated anything out of the ordinary. So. I know what you well, that's not the same way. I, I think based on the conversation uh, this is okay. with Mr. Duke, yeah, right? this is these things are not very big expense. Yeah. Right. It's right. just to get into the landscape. Yeah. Based it's on, yeah. you're saying yeah. doing the exterior or not the yeah. and then the equipment you're going to put yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're talking about yeah. fixing the parking lot like, and like planters. <laughs> right. It's pretty minor. Now, yeah. understanding that we 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 we're in the winter season, but certainly, you know, every greenhouse is selling uh, evergreens that are small that are part right, of Right, right. And, and yeah. so there's certainly yeah, some I'm, capability to, to provide uh, a better appearance for the public right. in that. Um, yeah, no, certainly that's possible. I, I wasn't, I guess I misunderstood when you were, I thought you were talking about structural changes to the, to the building. No. Um, if, if you're talking about things like that, I mean, that's, those things I've actually done with my shop at Peabody. So, yeah, that's on route one, right? Correct, yeah, okay. yeah. So it's on 241 on Newbury Street. So um, we've actually invested money to, uh, to smooth out the, the parking lot there. Um, and also to, uh, to, to um, I mean, there's, there's a dumpster, right, you know, which is kind of unsightly, uh, right next to the, uh, to the to, in between the building and, the, uh, and Route 1. Yep. So uh, we've done, we, we've actually plant, you know, put some, uh, some uh, uh, plants to kind of, Make it blend in better. Uh, so appearance is certainly very important because that's one of the. As a retail business, you need to. My, my colleague has pointed out that I think I might have been mis, uh, mixed up with that building and the one down the street further. Oh, so okay. Yeah, I, I am familiar with the one on Route One, but you do keep, do a good job there. Yeah, because I, I certainly didn't see, when I visited this this building. Uh, certainly didn't see anything that, yeah. that okay. stepped out. But if it, in any case, uh, it's. You know, I'm, I have a marketing background, so that's presentation is obviously yep. for yep. retail okay. business. Well, you know, in that case, uh, I'll that's um, I'll I'll take a motion if uh, board member, one of the board members want to make it. And do you want to do the six car? That uh, yeah, that'll be. Uh, you have a license for six cars existing. Uh, uh, do I have a license? No, there, there uh, right now there is a license on that facility oh, okay. for six vehicles. Okay. Yes. Is that uh, yeah, that's fine. Right. It's the same. Yeah, yeah. It's the same. Uh, Size of uh, I'm not, I'm not making any changes to the bays or anything. You don't so. keep cars overnight anyway. Yeah. No. Generally not. Not not unless they you know they problems. Yeah, or they it, it can't wait till you know they, they they're waiting for parts or whatever. It's very rare okay. that we do that. So. All right. All set. Yeah. I'd like to uh, make a motion uh, to approve the request of Mario. As the CEO for a garage repair license for Iron Forge LLC, DBA Mechany Car, uh, Car Care 662 Southern Artery, proposed hours of operation on Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Correct. Motion made and seconded to grant the request of Mario Stascio for a garage repair license for six vehicles. For Iron Forge LLC DBA Meineke Car Care 662 Southern Artery. Proposed hours of operation Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Christopher Chetwick is going to be the manager? Yes, yes. Oh. So I'm retaining Christopher. Uh, we're, we're attempting to uh, retain one of the, the technicians as well. Uh, I guess their last tenure with the previous owner didn't end too well. Uh, but I've spoken to Chris, Christopher, I've employed him, so uh, okay. he's, he's definitely going to be there. He'll be the point guy. So. Okay, so uh, motion made and uh, seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the motion passes. Okay. Thank you Welcome so much. Welcome to Quincy and good luck. Thank you so Thank much. You very much. Yep, I'm hoping to, uh, to get to know you guys better. Tomorrow, so. if I can get your life, you can get all that. <coughs> <coughs> I think I should have added, before you open, call our fire prevention office. To do a walk. Make sure you do a walk. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Yeah.
waive the reading? Oh, a uh, motion to waive the reading of the minutes from the prior meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you.